Hello everybody on YouTube. Today in tips and tricks I am going to show you something useful for Android Studio developers especially fresh developers because for Android Studio I faced this problem and I tried to recover it. It took me about two days to understand what is the problem and clear it. So hopefully you guys will benefit from this video. So let us see what is the problem. You can see that I have started the Android Studio and I am going to do the AVD Manager and you can see that a Nexus 5X API 28 has been selected by me once I click this launch this AVD simulator or emulator immediately this error is popping up but of course the emulator is popping up is coming out that is good but it comes out with error so what happens is that any other programs like expo or other type of development software that you are going to use will not work here so let us look at the error in detail it is java.lang runtime exception unable to create debug bridge unable to start adb server error protocol fault couldn't read status no errors so what they are telling is if you really want to start the ADB, ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. So mainly this is failing for the debug bridge as you can see. So what causes this debug bridge to fail? Let me close this error. So I am going to show you certain links that I got which lists solution for these failures so let us click that links this is by meet the make you phone box there's an ad a coming in never mind former. this is coming your from brainer technology Powered. let me skip the ad hi friends today we will see how to fix uh, java.lang.runtime exception while you execute an Android program in uh, Eclipse. So this is from Brainer's technology. Uh, most of the time you we can look at this link later. This I will put in the, execute the first time description. So let us stop and this first. So here the YouTuber is telling to install packages from Android Development Studio website or the community website but if you do that this particular failure is not going out for me maybe if you try this Brainer's technology idea it could work out for you so far so good but if it does not work for you you can further look at my YouTube video under the tips and tricks which is what you are seeing now so please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and like it thereby you show your support to me and i will make more and more videos okay so let us look at the android studio again yes it's here so what i am going to do is i am going to close this emulator and the emulator is closed and what happens is they are telling another solution so let's go to that solution you can go here to this website here this order technical order mr tim fisher has beautifully outlined 
all the steps that need to do to resolve this failure you can try this also I will give you the link in my description you can try this also but again unfortunately it's not working out for me he has given all details for Windows as well as or Mac OS so you can look at it and you can try to resolve that again if you did not see any remedy there you can further look at my video let's go to the third example or the technical details you can see here this is from another youtuber get me high tech subscribe can look at this video Android debug bridge not detected in Android Studio tutorial. So the solution given so here are facing ad problem in Android Studio did not give me today. any remedy, but we are thankful for this YouTuber to give the technical details, right? And then let's go to another video. This is from Cell, C-E-L-L. -L. Hi friends, so this video shows how to install and set up the Android debug. This YouTuber is very quite popular where he PC. teaches a lot of videos so first we need to download about installing and, and setting install up a real phone into Android debug bridge. The from this internet URL, we or can the browser it. using we computer. Can this URL in so the you can look at it also. But it doesn't work for me as you well the for my case. Is and finally, I go to this stack overflow message. So let's go to that. This is one of the best technical articles that I have seen. And you can see that this particular technical reviewer who is Mr. Joe, I think, he is giving us a method where we can see and set a trace for the Android bridge, debug bridge. So what you can do is first of all, this particular path which is users and then app data my username users username app data local android sdk here you will see platform tools so you just click like this and you will get this full path and you go to environment variables environment variables edit environment variables of your account and you go to the path and edit and you can see here that I have put SDK platform tools here so the moment you put it and close it and when you are in the command yes let's look at the command run as administrator yes so once you click it if you type ADB immediately some help files will come for you and this is one of the check to see that ADB is working and also the environment variables are working so now coming back to the stack overflow you can do something like this set ADB trace and give it the command prompt so let us go down and let us paste this set a adb trace and then we are going to adb start server let's see what it is coming so it shows no error 
But the important point that I want you guys to focus here is that port 5037. This is where this ADB server is being served. So, if port 5037 is being locked by another program, then of course you are going to get this error. So, in order to rectify this problem, what you can do is, there are few commands that I will show you. So, remember our port is 5037. So, let us do like this. 5037. So, this is the command to check whether the port is being served or not. Yes, the port is li being listened at by this PID. We call it PID 13888. So, how do we kill that port? Just use this command and you issue this command. It's rolling back and process is killed. So, once you do that, you come back to your virtual device and you start it off and everything should be perfect now. No more errors. Let's wait for a few seconds because this error comes after a few seconds. So let us look at it. So we are so positive that this error did not come. Now, let us try to remember and understand how this error came in. This could be one of the reasons that you have started ADB knowingly or unknowingly and then this ADB is being served at 5037 and we are unable to detect that. So, whatever versions of software or whatever images that we downgrade and put here, nothing will work because that 5037 port is being served by our program or our earlier program. So, once we clear this 5037, the error is disappearing. So, how did I create a 5037 program engagement? I just use a Laravel program and ask the program to serve at 5037 just for testing purpose because I cannot recreate the problem any because my problem has been cleared. So, it's being served at 5037. Then we will go again to recreate the error. So, 5037 Laravel serving is just for demo purpose. You click again and see Let's wait for the error to come. Yes, the error has come. Can you see that? So, I will clear the error again just for our understanding purpose. So, how do I clear that? I will break this because this is just a Laravel program and then I will close this. I will close this as well. I will call this virtual device again so no more errors coming up because this port has been freed so I can close that you see so hopefully this technical session has been very beneficial for you and hopefully if you come across this issue and you google youtube for my channel you are landing to this particular video and it could save your time and day happy coding please subscribe to my channel and like it have a good day thank you guys